affectionately known as KG. 32-year-old Monjani has won numerous awards. She became the first black South African woman to compete at Wimbledon and reached the semi-final earlier this year. The 2015 Belgian Open winner also reached the last four at the US Open. She's ranked fifth in the world and first in Africa. Originally hailing from Mulej in Limpopo, Monjani says the road to success was littered with obstacles. It wasn't an easy journey, but uh, it was more of a persevering journey for me. So it's, it's, it's all hard work that, that really came into place now. It started a long time ago. It's just unfortunately that, you know, it's now that people get to know who I am. But despite that, I mean, we, we, we all opt for a, a journey that ends with greatness. And this is not actually the end, but it's just the beginning to greater things. Monjan was raised by a single mother, Margaret. She says her daughter showed signs of a champion from an early age. I feel happy and I raised Otaso like other normal children. I didn't take my child as a disabled learner, but I take my child as a, as a normal because I was doing everything that the normal people can do it. I never hide Otaso somewhere in the house or what. That is why she went to the school, from the high school to the teacher level. She received a vehicle from a dealership in Pulukwane today and her sponsors say they are excited to be associated with an athlete of Mujani Kaliba. Uh, the story uh, of KG uh, and the humble beginnings uh, and uh, her excellence in terms of hard working, um, being a driven individual, have prompted us to, um, to align ourselves with uh, uh, people of her character. The Paralympian was named South Africa's Disabled Sportswoman of the Year several times. Rutan Bobori, SBC News.